Hi again, it's Dustin Guthrie, your favorite Cape Coral realtor, and I'm back with another video about some Cape Coral real estate. Uh, it's back to school week here in Cape Coral this week, so I figured I'd do a quick video on some of the most family-friendly gated communities that we have in Cape Coral. So if you're one of the ones moving to Florida, if you're relocating to Florida, or if you live in Florida right now and you're just looking at Cape Coral as a, as a possible place to live, uh, these communities are all going to be worth checking out. So. These are in no particular order, but I did save my favorite, my personal favorite to last. I'm actually in one of the properties in that community right now. So it's worth sticking around to the end to take a look at that. And uh, if you would, as always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I do one of these videos on a weekly basis. I am a, a brand new channel. Uh, this is only my third video. So hopefully I'm getting a little bit better at it uh, as each one progresses, but it does really help me out if you hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you around for the ones in the future. Okay, so we're starting off in the northeast section of Cape Coral with the first community, and it's the community of Entrada. Entrada is a fairly new community. Popular national builder D.R. Horton began selling the first new construction homes in Entrada in the middle of 2017, and they are still one of the largest builders of new construction homes in Cape Coral. The HOA fees in this community are only $379 per quarter. That's less than $130 a month, and that includes a large number of top-notch amenities, including a resort-style community pool, a clubhouse complete with an exercise gym, tennis and pickleball courts, bike and jog paths, a large playground, and even bocce lanes. The low HOA fees also include all maintenance on the gates, roads, and common areas, and also include your trash removal. Golf carts are also welcome in this large community. Entrada makes this list for its large size, great amenities, and low fees. Newer three to five bedroom homes, both off water and lakefront in this community, start in the low to mid 300s and go up to the 600s. All right, for the second community on this list, we're heading to the northwest section of Cape Coral with an even newer community. Stonewater is a brand new community and new construction homes are being sold in there right now. Like Entrada, this community has some nice amenities like a community pool, fitness center, tennis and pickleball courts, and a playground for the kids. The HOA fees are only slightly more than Entrada at $209 per month, but unlike Entrada, these fees at Stonewater also include your lawn and land maintenance. So no need to bring your mower or trimmer, that's all going to be taken care of for you at Stonewater. There are several reasons this community makes this list, but probably the top reason is its location. Stonewater is literally steps away from Mariner Middle School and Mariner High School, as well as the Northwest Regional Library. So for kids living in the community, it's a very, very short walk to and from school every day. DR Horton is actively building brand new construction homes in Stonewater right now, and three and four bedroom homes are absolutely flying off the shelves, starting in the upper 300s. I happen to keep an updated inventory list of this community, so if you are interested in Stonewater, get a hold of me and I'll get you the latest list. Sometimes there are some really attractive incentives on some of these homes that are currently under construction. From the Northwest Cape, we're going to head back to the Northeast for the next community, and then we'll finish up a little further south with my favorite community on this list. Our third family-friendly community is Coral Lakes. Coral Lakes is a large community that started out in the mid-2000s, and multiple different builders have been building both single-family homes and townhomes in this gated community ever since. It's a large community with some of the larger two-story homes in Cape Coral. There are many five-bedroom homes and even a few six-bedroom homes within Coral Lakes, so if you have a large family, Coral Lakes is worth a look. Coral Lakes has amenities galore, soccer and baseball fields, multiple community pools and spas, a large clubhouse with a gym, tennis and pickleball courts, a playground, sand volleyball court, bocce lanes, and miles and miles of sidewalks along the lakes and nature preserve. Coral Lakes is also very secure with on-site guards manning the gates 24 hours a day. It makes this list for all those reasons and also for the sheer variety of different home styles, layouts, and sizes that it has. The HOA fees for the homes are collected quarterly at $764, or about $255 per month. And that includes all the amenities, professional security, trash removal, and your lawn and land maintenance. So you get a lot out of your HOA fees here. The townhome HOA fees are slightly higher, but they also include some more services. 
In addition to being a family-friendly community, it's also the most price-friendly community on this list, with townhome prices starting in the mid-200s and single-family homes starting in the mid-300s. Okay, now we're going to finish up with my personal favorite family-friendly gated community in Cape Coral, and it's located in a very convenient part of the Southwest Cape. The community of Sandoval also started out in the early to mid-2000s, and it's been a favorite for families in Cape Coral ever since. It's a very large community with well over a thousand residences, and the streets and miles of winding lakefront walking slash jogging paths are lined with beautiful, well-kept landscaping. The amenities in Sandoval are absolutely top-notch, with a resort-style pool complete with a large water slide and kids' area, plus an additional pool in the townhome section. There are also pristine tennis and pickleball courts, a large clubhouse with a gym, sand volleyball court, basketball court, bocce lanes, and a huge shaded playground for the kids. There's also a serene lakeside community park with a fishing pier and a frisbee golf course, and of course, there's a dog park for your pups. As you can imagine, it's a very active community and there's something for everyone in here. Sandoval has many different subdivisions and they each have varying amounts they charge as the HOA fee. The single family homes start around $200 a month, but some go up a fair amount from that depending on what they include with the HOA fees. The townhomes charge a master HOA fee of around $200 a month, but they also charge a $450 per month condo fee, but that extra fee covers things like your water and sewer, basic cable, internet access, lawn and land maintenance, structural insurance, exterior pest control, and more. So don't get scared off by the higher fees here. They cover a lot of the things that you would otherwise pay for separately. Of course, all this top-notch stuff is going to put these homes and townhomes on the pricier side of our list, with townhomes starting in the mid to high 300s and single-family homes starting in the low 400s, with the biggest lakefront luxury homes occasionally reaching as high as the 800s. You know, Cape Coral really is a great place to live, and it's increasingly becoming a great place to raise a family as well. Uh, these are just some of the family-friendly communities in Cape Coral, but there are certainly some other ones that I didn't get a chance to go into on a short video like this. So if you're interested in the area, you're moving to the area, or you just like some more information, give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. I'd love to hear a little bit more about your situation and find out how I can maybe help you out and point you in the right direction and uh, maybe even show you some of these Cape Coral homes for sale. Uh, beyond that, I'm very appreciative of your time, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you got anything out of it, I really hope you'll reach over and click that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well and turn notifications on. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm a brand new channel. This is only my third video. Hopefully I'm getting a little better each time. Um, but if you like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out as a new channel. And uh, love to have you around for the future ones. I'm doing one of these videos every week, so love to have you around for that. Beyond that, uh, thanks again for watching, and from Southwest Florida, I'm Dustin Guthrie, and hope to see you again.